how to create beautiful curve designs in Clip Studio Paint using curves in saturated lines. I want to create something like this. I'm using layers, so I can delete the layers at any point. So I'm going to remove them now. Go to the toolbar and select the figure tool. Go to the sub tool panel and select the saturated line and then select the first entry. Go to the color set panel and then select the color black. Display the sub tool detail panel via the window menu. Set the destination layer to always create a new saturated line layer. The key setting for the whole tutorial is the make curve. So set that to on. Go to the brush size category and set the brush size to a very large value. Not too large that it fills the entire image. Go to the drawing interval category and set the gap to a fairly small value. Keep all the other settings as the defaults. Once you've done that, go over to the document and then create a very small circle with the saturated line tool. The document will be filled with black and white lines, all emanating from that central point. To display the control curve, hold down the command or control key. You can move the saturated line around by using the bounding box, those green points. While holding down the command and control key, you can see that red line. That can manipulate the entire saturated line just by dragging and moving that curve. You can bend the curve in multiple ways to create all kinds of really stunning curve designs. You can also right click on the curve and add an additional control point. That additional control point gives you more flexibility to create even weirder designs. If you're unhappy, of course, you can always undo at any point. When you created this design, it was created on a layer. So you can go over to the layers panel and you can see that layer. You can manipulate that layer in multiple ways. Go to the layer property panel. Go to the effect and you'll see along the end, the third entry, that is the layer color. Go to the layer color entry and at the end, you'll see a little arrow. Click on that and it will bring up the color settings. So you can set the color to green, etc. You have one layer. Well, you can create more than one layer. You can duplicate that layer. So go to the layer menu and duplicate layer. Go to the layers panel and you will see two entries. They're exactly the same. To change the current layer, you can't change the settings in the subtool detail, but you can change the curve. Hold down the command or control key and then manipulate that red line to manipulate the saturated line curve. Manipulate the curve in multiple ways. Just drag it around in all different directions to create unique saturated line curves. But it's hard to see because both are in green. Go to the layer property panel and layer color and that right side arrow and then click on that and go and change the color via the color settings. I'm going for pink. Once you're happy with that, click OK. You can now see the design much more clearly. With two layers, you can blend them. So go to the layers panel and then go up to the first entry and then go up to the blending mode and set that to darken, difference, overlay, etc. A whole range of different color clashes can be generated by changing the blending mode of the two layers. Again, hold down the command or control key and you can then manipulate the curve again. But one problem, you can find that the red curve is not so visible now because of the color clash. Sadly, there is no way of changing the color of the curve. Go back to the layers panel and then change the blending mode to perhaps a different blending mode. I'm using two layers, but you could of course use three, four, five, six layers and perhaps use different blending modes for each. For most of the tutorial, I've kept the lines emanating from a central point, but you don't have to do that. You can extend it out and have it waving in all kinds of different ways just by changing the curve. If you're unhappy with the result, you can always use the command control Z and then undo and then just manipulate the curve again. Once you're happy with the design, you can always go to the layer menu and merge the layers. You can create all kinds of amazing colorful clashing designs using this curve feature in the saturated line. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint, so please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Please add some comments, always appreciated. Also a dislike or like. 
Thank you much.